Welcome back to the Pines Manor. I am here with Mayor Wilda Diaz of Perth Amboy and Mayor Marlene Lawanda of Jamesburg. Both mayors are the very first female mayors elected to their communities. And we're going to talk a little bit about uh, how they got involved and how they see the political landscape changing in their community. So, Mayor Diaz, we'll start with you. Well, um, first of all, thank you for the interview. It's great to be with such powerful women, three mayors together. Um, well, now I am, now I just re was reelected. Congratulations. My second term and um, I'm on a mission to make things better for my community. And I got involved because I wanted to make positive changes and I believe that women come with a, a perspective that um, different than our, uh, our counterparts. And I, and I truly believe that if we are going to, um, I believe that we have so much to give. You know, we have so much to say and that we could do the job. And, um, and I'm thankful that the residents of Perth Boy gave me that opportunity again and they saw that I put their interests first be before anything else and that I'm working for the community. Um, you know, we're going through very tough times in the state and right managing even our hometowns right now because of all the, the fiscal cuts and um, the, the lack of funding in, in, in so many areas that have made it really difficult to, to um, one, manage, but at the same time, um, we're doing so much more with less. Right. It, it is. It's, it is much more difficult. And when you're on the front line, you really see what goes on and, and the difference that you can make. So, Mayor, Lu Mayor Luanda. Um, I, I think the changes that I see are the way that I handle things much differently than my counterparts. I think people are, are surprised and, and happy that I'm direct and I'm forward and I'm to the point and I'm honest. Uh, they're not used to that. They're used to a lot of storytelling. And um, it's refreshing. And, and the response you get is wonderful. They thank you for, for being honest and for being up front and not kind of uh, dancing around the issues, just handling them head on. So that's something new, I think, for our town. You're not necessarily giving them good news, but you're at least giving them the honest truth. Exactly. It is. It's, I, I, I know that in my town, we struggle with that for a long time where, oh, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. I'll take care of it. But unless you give them something, whether it's good news or bad news, it makes it that much harder without the, the actual information. Well, you hear people talk about transparency and, and issues like that. And I, I think bringing the issues up and out and, and discussed in public is what people want. And they want to be heard. So you, you have to listen. And you have to do what's right for your community. And that comes from them. It doesn't just come from you or the people that are elected. True. Now, we're all here at the Pines Manor because both of you have been honored by Mayor Resigliano um, getting ready for Women's History Month in March. Are you guys doing anything in your communities to recognize, you know, what women have given and, and the role that women play? We're actually going to have an event at our art gallery um, celebrating um, women. It's an international day of women, and I, I look forward to it because we're going to have an array of women with all these specialties, you know, from um, education to po political. Um, and, and I believe that we have to um, tell the story. You know, we have to tell about the challenges, where, where we were at, where, where we're going, and, um, and that we still have struggles. You know, there, there's still that perception out there. There's still these people, you know, the people saying that we can't, but we are breaking all the barriers. You know, we, I, I really believe that, that we're opening up the doors for many other women. You know, what we're doing today is opening up the doors for the, those future leaders. And I think that we have a voice and that um, we stand up for what's right. Um, we're speaking up for our communities. Um, we're fighting for our communities. You know, we're lobbying in train. <laughs> I've seen you there. And um, we, we have to, um, again, you know, we, we have to prove ourselves even more. I, I believe that because, I, you know, you have to fight even harder. And, and I say that we're, now more than ever, we, we have to stick together. We have to um, support each other. Um, we are here in Edison today, and I am um, wholeheartedly I, I'm supporting Tony because I know what she has gone through. Um, it's, it's not easy to speak up 
you know, you, you have to do what you have to do for your community. And sometimes um, you have to make unpleasant decisions for the right reasons. And, and I believe that's what, that's what she has done. I agree. It's truly, we do govern for the right reasons. We don't get involved in the party and, and we focus on, you know, what you know you need to do for the community. Are, are you doing anything in Jamesburg? Do you do anything with your students? Um, the only thing that, that we do on an ongoing basis is, especially for the girls in town, we're such a small town that our children can, the girls and the boys, play baseball, play basketball. Our, we have a brand new wrestling team that we've never had before and there are 19 children and a lot of them are girls and they're on there and they're kicking butt. And when they see, you know, that there's a woman mayor and, and I'm standing on the sidelines and I want to cheer them on, it does. It, it, it secures your future. You know, they can look at you and say, well, how did you get to be mayor? You know, or you listen to their conversations and you, you just keep promoting that women are really strong and we need to, to you know, to lead. And, and by that, we, we do it by example. I agree. It, it truly is. Well, thank you both for being here today and for joining us on, on the Loose TV.